Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'm one of the authors of Technic.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure your local repository and remote HTTP based remote repository on Red Hat 8 system or Saint OS 8 system. This um, activity is also important for those that are taking my RHC SA8 course. So if your system is not subscribed or registered, you can always um, do this to download packages, all right? And if you're also going to be writing the LFCS or the SUSE Linux or the RHC SA8 exam, just scroll down to the end of the website and click on the exam practice questions, all right? So I'm going to be updating the website from time to time. And I'm also going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below. So you can always come here and, you know, um, get practice questions to practice with before you write the exam. It's very important. And you can also come here to click on the RHC SA8 DOMS and see the um, updated practice questions. You can always ask your questions in the comment section below or on every article, you can always ask your question. And if you want me to always update you, just specify it in the comment section and I'll always update you on the recent practice questions. All right, so let's get down to action time. The first thing you need to do is to get the ISO to your system. You can use FileZilla or any other FTP utility. So in my case, I'm using FileZilla, all right? So I'm just going to get the ISO into my system. I'm going to put it in slash media. You can put it anywhere you have space, all right? So I'm just going to drag it and put it here. I'm going to wait for the upload to complete. The transfer is complete, so I'm going to check my system. Oops. So I don't think it's in media. Let me check the filezilla and see where the ISO was dropped again. So I think it's in root. All right, so this is the ISO file. Apparently it was dropped in, in the root directory, home directory. So the next step to do is to mount the ISO to any mount point, all right? So I can just mount this to slash MNT. The ISO image is mounted. Let's verify this so we can see that it's mounted, all right, on MNT. The next step is to um, make a directory so that you can copy the ISO files in that directory. You can copy the ISO files in any path you wish to copy it to, but I'm just going to make a directory called ISO files, all right? So I'm going to copy everything in the mount directory. So I'll copy all of this to the ISO files directory. So I'm just going to do I think reboots and archive. All right. It's going to take a while because it's uh, about 8.1 gig. The copy is complete, so let's check the ISO files. So you can see the um, ISO packages here in this file. Okay, so let's create the local repository file, All right? I can call this um, ISO files or any name I wish to call it. This is different from the um, RHEL 7. In RHEL 8, you need to configure two base URLs, one for the upstream and one for the base OS, unlike the one we did when we uh, configured the local repository for RHEL 7. All right, so I'm just going to copy everything I have on the website and paste it here. I'm going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below. You can as well copy it too. And if you want to understand every parameters we have here, you can go through the course, the RHCSA course, and know what all of this means. So briefly, um, 
this you can use any name here and this is the base url all right and the base url is file we're pointing to the iso files and we are pointing to the upstream package file and this is a gpg check which is zero right and the name you can give any name in here so i'm just using red hat and linux upstream and enable here is one so the same thing here as well you can give any name here the base url it needs to point to the iso files because this was the directory we created where our packages are right and it also needs to point to the base os the gpg check right it can be zero the name too can be um, any name you wish to give and enable us to be one so i'm just going to save the file so i'm going to test our configuration you can use dnf dnf repo list or yum repo list whichever one box you can see the repo id here and you can see the packages that we have so the configuration is working so this is how you configure your yum local repository on red hat 8 system you can install whatever package you want to install so in this case we are installing the http server Okay, so um, let's see the status of the server. So instead, I'm going to start the server. Let me verify the status again. So the HTTP server is running. So what we need to do now is to copy the ISO image files to the document root of the HTTP server so that other clients can point to it and also use the uh, repository remotely so i'm just going to i'm going to um delete this iso file because of um, space restriction on my system all right I'm going to do copy this from the iso files to document root for http server Okay, so let's check the document root. The ISO files in here is in here. We go to the client side to configure the YUM local repository file. All right. This is the DR server, the DR dev one server, which is the client server. All right. So let's configure the YUM repository file. So I can call this um, remote.repo. So I'm just going to copy and paste it from the website too as well. So like I've explained what all of this means and the base URL this time around is not the file, it is the HTTP service, all right? Then this is the IP of the server where it's going to get the repository from, and it's under ISO files. Then it's going to point to our upstream packages, right? The second one too will point to the base OS packages. So I'm just going to save this file. So let's do yum repo list. Okay, so it can't fetch the repository yet um, from the server. And I think that could be because of firewall. So let's go back to the server and, and enable the HTTP service in the firewall rule. We are back on the server. So let's add the HTTP rule to the firewall rule.
I have also taught um, firewall, how to manage firewall in Linux. If you don't really understand it, you can go through my RHCS8 course. So let's go back to the client and check again. Okay, so you can see that it's working now. We have the repo ID and we have the RPM packages here. So the configuration is working. And if I wish to install any package here, I can also do that as well. All right, but I'm not going to install this. So this is how you configure um, your YUM local repository and the HTTP based remote repository in Red Hat 8 systems. All right, and this part is very important in the exam too because in the exam you might be given. Let me just show you something here. So in the exam, you might be given an IP address, all right, or you might be given the full FQDA name, and you will need to configure your your local repository for you to be able to download packages. So it's important you know how to do this. All right, and once again, if you don't know how to do this, just check my RHCSA 8 course. I've taught um, this lesson there, and it's well explained. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel, and bye for now.